Hi, I'm Alex Sobel. I'm the co-chair of the Ukraine group in the British Parliament. I, alongside other MPs and charities, have organised an aid convoy to coincide with the first anniversary of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. I'm here in Newcastle to pick up this van full of aid, which we're going to drive all the way to the Polish border alongside a number of other vehicles, all carrying essential humanitarian aid for Ukraine. This is part of our contribution as the parliamentary group for Ukraine to the efforts of the Ukrainian people to defend their country and get through the harsh Ukrainian winter and do what we can in the UK and the UK Parliament to support people in Ukraine. As we're going to go along, I'm going to record this video diary which we're going to put out on my return after the anniversary. So hopefully you're watching this uh, after we've come back safely and have delivered all of this aid to the people of Ukraine. Hi, it's the 18th of February now and we're on the second leg of the journey of the aid convoy to Ukraine. I'm still on my own, um, setting off from Leeds to go to London and then tomorrow morning I'm going to be joined by Kevin Foster MP who's MP for Torbay and we're going to go to Dover and then on to Dortmund. So this will be my last solo leg of the convoy and we'll also be at Dover joined by six other vehicles taking aid to Ukraine with other vehicles who are part of the convoy ahead of us. Uh, we, I think we have a grand total actually of something like 11 or 12 vehicles on this convoy. But at the moment it's just me on my merry way uh, down from Leeds to London uh, where I'll be staying overnight before carrying on to Dover. Um, I hope you're enjoying uh, this video diary uh, which we're going to put out after my return from Ukraine. Hi, this is day three of our Ukraine aid convoy and I'm here with Kevin Foster, who's MP for Torbay in Devon, who's going to be coming with me right across Europe to deliver this aid to Ukraine. And we're just about to set off to go to Dover to make the short crossing to Dunkirk and spend our first night in Dortmund. We're going to meet with six other vehicles who are going to come with us right across Europe with a, with a group of different charities and politicians who are all working together to support our friends in Ukraine and deliver this vital aid. We've got aid here uh, for Halo Trust for demining, we've got medical equipment, we've got food, we've got clothes, we've got a whole range of aid just in this one van that, that people in Ukraine have asked for and it's going to go right across Ukraine from Lviv to Dnipro and Kharkiv. So we're doing um, an amazing thing uh, just at the point in the war where people really need it. I'm now arrived at the port of Dover. You can see the white cliffs behind me and we've got our convoy here. This is a, a Guy Shepherd's vehicle uh, with his trailer in Ukrainian colours. Um, and we are about to go through immigration control, then border our ferry, our DFDS ferry from Dover to Dunkirk and then start the first leg of our journey to Dortmund in Germany. Uh, the, there are now in, in this part of the convoy four vehicles, two Arctic lorries have gone, we've had a, a consignment of um, generators go as well and another vehicle from Wales which uh, Mick Anthony who's a, a Welsh member of the Senate is, is driving. So we're all, all on track, all in train um, for, this, for this parliamentary aid convoy to Ukraine. It's the end of the first day, it's been a very long day. We've arrived in Dortmund, Hotel Dortmund, after driving all the way from London this morning. Uh, not quite all the convoy has got here yet, it's already after 11 o'clock. The first two vans are here. Uh, we're waiting for the second two to arrive at the hotel. Tomorrow we'll be setting off bright and early to go to Berlin where we're going to be joined by Anna McMorrin MP and Scott Benton MP uh, to take the last leg of the, of the trip the following day uh, to crack off to hand over the vehicles before we go on to Ukraine. So um, it's been a, a tough and gruelling day uh, and we expect to, to have another long day tomorrow in the vans 
but it's been hugely rewarding uh, knowing that we're doing something useful for the people of Ukraine today. Hi, we're now on the second day of uh, the drive in Europe. We, we've uh, reached Hanover in Germany. We're taking a stop for breakfast. We set up at eight o'clock this morning and we're now gonna drive uh, straight through to Berlin. We should be in Berlin just after lunchtime. Uh, and then this evening, we're gonna be joined by MPs Anna McMorrin and Scott Benton. Uh, we're gonna use the time to park up and to go into Berlin, I intend to go and visit the Holocaust Memorial site in Berlin, uh, which is um, one of the largest uh, in, in the world, uh, and also visit some of the other sites in Berlin uh, as well. So it's uh, poignant for me as a descendant of uh, victims of the Holocaust, uh, and also thinking about what the people of Ukraine are going through today uh, after the invasion by Russia. Hello, it's now 4.30 on the 20th of February. I've arrived in Berlin. Here's the Brandenburg Gate. Um, coming to Berlin, which is about halfway, sort of in mainland Europe, really, between uh, uh, where we landed at Dunkirk and, and the Ukraine. It's a poignant reminder, Berlin. We're surrounded by reminders of, of, of war and of genocide. I'm going to go to the Holocaust Memorial shortly after this adage of totalitarianism where I'm stood here, this line, that was where the Berlin Wall stood. I would have been standing in East Berlin, in, in West Berlin, actually here, uh, 40 years ago, but East Berlin, just a couple of metres away. And um, it's also a sign of hope and of recovery of what's happened here in Berlin and of, uh, of the fact that the people here are unified again. And uh, we carry that hope onwards as we carry on to Ukraine. Hi, we're now on the 21st of February, arrived in Poland, uh, we're in Wroclaw. We've now been joined by a number of other people, including Anna McMorrin and Scott Benton MPs. Uh, later on, we're arriving in Krakow, where we're gonna meet the charities from Lviv, who are gonna come collect the vehicles and collect the rest of the aid that's gonna go over the border tomorrow to Ukraine. Um, and we're, we're here, we're actually at this restaurant that my father has booked for us, who's originally from Wroclaw, and, and if you listen to my speech on Holocaust Memorial Day, you'll know a little bit about my family history with um, places like Wroclaw, also Lviv, uh, which are entirely tied up with, with, with war and genocide. So it's, it's actually quite emotional for me to be here today in Wroclaw, delivering this aid for the people of Ukraine. I'm in Krakow, it's the evening now, I'm actually in the passageway where Oskar Schindler had his factory and which he used and he employed Jews, this is the Jewish quarter, and then he smuggled them to safety at great personal risk out of Krakow. They've actually put an exhibition you can see here of Ukrainian refugees and their experiences linking what happened in the Holocaust and the Second World War with what's happening now in the war in Ukraine. This trip is extremely poignant. This is sort of reflective of my family history, what I'm doing now, what we're doing in the UK to support the Ukrainians, of course, what's happening in Ukraine as well. So this is a really sombre and emotive moment. We're now at the actual border crossing. We've passed through Polish border and we're now coming through to the Ukrainian side. So hopefully in a matter of minutes, uh, the, the aid which is behind us will enter Ukraine. This box actually right behind me is uh, D uh, mining equipment from Halo Trust, which are delivering at I'm gonna give it to the chief exec of Halo in Kyiv and he's gonna take it onwards to the, to the front line. So really now, right at the sharp end of, um, of getting this aid to where it needs to be. It's been a, a long journey of organising this aid convoy and it just seems slightly surreal now. We're sat here at the border 
uh, literally about to cross over the border into Ukraine, which is a country that was invaded one year ago and is still at war. We're now through uh, the border. Uh, it's gone. It's gone 4:30. It's taken about an hour and a half to get through. That we are in Ukraine. You can see there like a beautiful uh, Orthodox church. Uh, we're now heading to Lviv. It's about another hour and a half to Lviv, where we'll be unloading the aid in the aid warehouse for onward distribution to Dnipro, Kharkiv, Zaboricha. Uh, and many other places in Ukraine which, which really need this aid, including demining equipment, generators, medical equipment, and a whole range of other things that we have brought, in some cases all the way from Newcastle, but also from Leeds and Havant and the Isle of Wight and London, a whole range of other places. Um, this really feels quite momentous now that we've passed the border and everything's in Ukrainian, there are Ukrainian signs everywhere. Um, it's quite emotional now being here.